Hi there, this is a video about sound level meters. This sound level meter here is the most economical one. It's a type 2 sound level meter. That means that there's an um, uncertainty of the um, acoustical measurements of around 1.5 to 2 um, decibels. Professional sound level meters are type 1 and type 0. So type 1 has around uh, less than 1 decibel, sometimes even lower, and, they, and it's used for professional um, environmental measurements. And type 0 is used in acoustical labs. So this is the most affordable sound level meter. May cost may cost you around I don't know two hundred dollars something like that, and I'm going to show you some of the basic functions functions that the sound level meter has. So basically, we have two sets of um, of acoustical measurements. We have dBA and dBc. So basically, dBA. It's the um, approximation of the human um, hearing and is often used in all sorts of acoustical measurements such as environmental acoustics, checking the background, background noise of a room, um, so any kind of noise that is associated with a noise disturbance. Then uh, type C is um, a more flat curve, so it's more approximate from the um, real from a real measurement without the human influence. And Type C is usually used in very loud sounds, so um, factory sounds, or if you want to check the sound pressure level in a discotheque, you, you use a type C because we have sounds over 100 decibels. So these are the most uh, used noise curves for the sound level meters, which, which is type A and type C. There are other type curves like dBb or dBd, but they are not, they are not used um, anymore. Um, and of course, there's a real-time measurement, which is dBz, but this sound level meter, it doesn't perform that kind of um, acoustical uh, measurement. So, uh, even said that, with just these two types of uh, acoustical measurements, you, you can do a lot of, of work. So basically, we have uh, dBa and dBc, and then we have the way that the um, sound level meter operates. So th this is the way that the sound level meter responds to sound. So we have um, slow mode. It means that the integration of the sound is, is uh, slower. And then we have uh, fast mode, which you can see that the results shown here, they are, um, they have like a, a fast approach to the sound so they have like a so the way that the sound level meter works is that it, it detects it detects the sound pressure level fluctuations with a short attack on the fast mode and on the slow mode the time integration is slower there's another um, uh, time integration uh, mode that this sound level meter does not have, which is impulsive mode and which is uh, used in, in several um, acoustical applications. So, and we have uh, a max, so this is basically the, the peak of the acoustical registration. So if I shout, ah, it, it goes it goes on, um, it shows the maximum um, noise uh, measurement that to, uh, after the 
um, sound level meter is switched on. And then we have level, which, which means that if I want to, um, let, me, let me just switch off the max and let's put this on fast mode. So this basically means that the, I need to set the limits of the sound level meter of um, according to the noise that, I'm, that I am um, uh, measuring. So if I want a, a soft sound, um, I can, uh, you can see here, it's, uh, so this sound level meter, it goes down to 30 decibels. And now it's measuring between 30 and 80 decibels. Uh, I can increase the limits up to one, 120 decibels. And now it starts around 70. So it's like, it's like the sound level meter. It chooses a specific range of uh, decibels. So it can measure uh, properly. And um, there's also very important here, let me show you. There's a windshield for wind protection and rain protection. It's uh, fundamental for um, environmental acoustics. And this is the sound level meter that I use for uh, like um, just to have a, um, a very fast um, approach to the problem. So for instance, if I want to check the back room uh, backroom noise of a room, I can do it with this sound level meter and just have an idea if it's 30 decibels, if it's 35, if it's 40 de decibels, um, dBAs in this case. I can use this to measure the um, noise from, from an HVAC, HVAC machine as well. So it, it, it's, it's a very useful tool. Um, another important uh, aspect of this, this noise um, sound level meter it is that it only shows real-time measurements so it does not do a full history of the um, acoustical measurements you cannot see the integration of the acoustical measurements over time so this is this is indeed not uh, a professional sound level meter which would it would cost maybe um three thousand dollars or four thousand dollars or something like that so this is like a more affordable but yet functional um tool that i use on on my work um thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please subscribe for further videos thank you